In this lecture, I'm going to discuss the notion of charge as a topological defect. That's a lot of big words, so let's break this down into two parts. First of all, what is topology? Topology is a mathematical study that concerns itself with the understanding of space, dimension, and transformation. Space is the set of all points, and dimension is a characteristic of space. Dimension is the number of coordinates required to enumerate a point in space. So, for instance, in a two-dimensional space, you need an ordered pair, such as this, to designate a specific point in that space. Transformation is an operation that can be performed on a space. A transformation is just a movement of the axes. So, for instance, if we have the Cartesian plane, like this, their y and x axes, a transformation would simply be moving the axes relative to the points. So say we have a point here, this green mark, and we move the axes so that the mark instead appears to be on the other side of the y-axis. This would be a transformation. Topologists are interested in studying the properties of space that are conserved even when you stretch or bend space. However, topologists aren't interested in types of deformations that involve tearing space or re-gluing it back together. This means that continuity is particularly important in topology. There are also different kinds of defect. The most interesting defects are those that cannot be eliminated by simple operations such as transformation. Transformation should be familiar because we talked about this when we spoke about topology. An example of a defect that can be eliminated would be a moving point, such as this. This movement can be eliminated simply by creating a system of axes that are moving along with the point. In this case, you wouldn't be able to tell that the point was moving at all. This is the whole idea behind a reference frame, which we spoke about in earlier lectures. Now, a defect is a little bit simpler to understand. A defect is simply something different. If you have, say, a uniform distribution of green points, this isn't terribly uniform, but we'll pretend it is, you have a single red point somewhere in the middle, the red point would represent defect. Even if you had a uniform distribution of green points and you had a rogue green point in some crazy spot, that would represent a defect. So what is a topological defect? Well, a topological defect is much more interesting than a simple moving point in space because it can't be eliminated by a transformation. This makes sense because topology is concerned with things that are conserved even when transformations occur. So let's say we have an electron. No matter how fast our observer is moving, that is, no matter how much of a transformation we cause, the observer will always be able to see the effect of our electric charge. There's also no way that we can bend or stretch space around our electron to remove the effect of the charge. This means that charge is a topological defect. It's different from the area around it, which means that it might be subject to different physical laws than regular space, and it also means that there's nothing we can do to get rid of it to make it look more like the rest of space. This is why charge has interesting physical properties. 